Um, I don't know what's happening here. I honestly don't. I think they're sleepwalking drunks and they're armed and dangerous. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Out on the table here, I have everything from our shopping trip yesterday to the thrift stores. Um, we got quite a couple goodies, including this beautiful picture set, which Andrew had to fight over and eventually came home with us. <laughs> But I'm going to go over everything real quick. If you haven't caught the shopping video, make sure you go back yesterday and check that out. I've put a link to that in the description down below. Um, but let's go over everything we got real quick and start with the picture set. Um, so <laughs> the picture set is kind of a long story. We paid $11 for it and it's worth probably between $50 and $65 because unlike other sets that are selling, we have the ice bucket, which we fought over. It's a bloody battle, but we got the ice bucket, so. <laughs> um, oh, that was just a nightmare. I have to like, get rid of it because it's got bad karma on it. It's like oozing bad karma, you know? Um, okay, also at the Community Aid, I got these milk glass mugs. You guys know I like milk glass, but they were patriotic. And I think that Drew is just like rubbing off on me a little with the patriotic stuff. I don't know. Um, so I got these milk glass mugs. Two of them were marked $2.00. One of them was marked $4, which I thought was strange. So I brought them up to the cashier and she marked the third one down to $2. So I got them all for two bucks. And um, they are worth, I wanna say like seven bucks a piece. So that was, it's pretty good. Um, I guess they could be either coffee mugs or beer mugs, whatever you wanna drink out of. In the morning they could be coffee mugs and in the afternoon or evening <laughs> they could be beer mugs, but just make sure you clean them in between, otherwise that would be gross. Um, <laughs> moving right along. I know these are, I don't know. They've got me a little perplexed. There are these little made in Mexico figurines made in Mexico. Now I think they're drunk because he's got a bottle of, bottle of tequila. He's got his hand on his gun. She's got a gun slung over her shoulder. Their eyes are closed. Um, I don't know what's happening here. I honestly don't. I think they're sleepwalking drunks and they're armed and dangerous. So <laughs> I've not been able to find any similar. Um, unlike my Asian shelf sitters <laughs> that had their legs detached, these ones are unharmed. They have all their appendages. Um, I just don't know about these. I paid $4 a piece for them just like the shelf sitters. Um, and I don't know how much I'm going to ask for them because I just, I haven't been able to find any to compare them to. So those are a mystery for right now. Um, if you know anything about them and you want to leave it in the comments, I would appreciate it. Uh, they do say made in Mexico on the bottom, but that is the only clue that I have. And they, they do have some crazing on them. So I do believe they have some age, but the mystery is unsolved. Okay. Um, here I got a little creamer. It's just the creamer, but I really loved the dainty flowers on the creamer and I liked the shape of the handle. I'm weird like that. You guys know I'm looking at lines. I liked the lines. <laughs> so I got this. It is marked Trico, T-R-I-C-O, hand painted Japan. So I grabbed that. I paid, I wrote it down today because I've already got all this stuff listed up in my Etsy store. So I peeled off all the stickers to list it. And I wrote it all down so I would remember what I paid for it. Um, this one I paid $2.99 for. Um, and I am asking $12 for that. Um, now let me see. I think that is everything that I bought at the Community Aid. I mean, after the whole picture ordeal, it was kind of like, well, let's get out of here. I just don't want to do it. But the best part is we went to Goodwill next. And guess who was there? And not only was she there, like Andrew would walk by her and she would growl at him like an animal. Like, like, like it was, it was weird. It was like she was possessed. It was so bizarre. Like who growls? Who does that? My five-year-old does when she's pretending to be a dog. Um, <laughs> it was 
so weird. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so moving right along, the next place we went was the Goodwill. Um, now the Goodwill, I got a couple more things. One of those, I'm very proud of these. These Pyrex uh, refrigerator dishes, these orange ones. Now, a lot of the times you'll come across Pyrex and the colors will be faded. The colors will have worn a little bit. Um, they will be faded. The design will be faded. These are like vibrant, beautiful orange, like tangerine orange. Um, these are worth between $40 to $50, the orange ones are. They have their lids. They're just, they're amazing. So, so I got both of them for $3, like together, $3. I was so proud of those. I was like, I could not believe that with the lids, $3. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to end up just like losing those after saying all that. It's going to be the karma. The karma is going to be like bad karma. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Moving right along. So I... I was picking up bookends. Now I was picking up single bookends because I was watching Nesting Haven. Um, she's another YouTuber and I watched one of her videos. I usually avoid buying single bookends, but I was watching one of her videos and she came up with a really good point that I should have thought of myself. But like if you have a bookshelf and you have the books stacked like and you just wanna like cap one end with a bookend, you only really need one. So I'm like, well, that makes sense. Why not? So I bought some single bookends. Um, one of them is this white cat. I believe it's Lefton. It's ceramic, um, blue, beautiful blue eyes. It does have some scratching down the gold spine and it looks like some child may have taken a pen and was like, I'm gonna color the books. So I paid $1.97 for this. For some reason, the Goodwill is always like 97-ing things. Um, so I paid $1.97 for this. And I'm asking, I think, 20 for it. That's what I have down in my notes. Um, so it's $20 for this. And I probably should have noted that it is, I guess, a right bookend. <laughs> I didn't do that in the listing. I'm not used to listing singles. I'm gonna have to go in and like change that because somebody's gonna buy it and be like, it's the wrong facing bookend. Um, the other bookend I bought was the owl. Look at him. He's just like this cute little pudgy owl. And how could you say no to him? Now he is marked Dave Grossman, um, 1978. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of the sorcerers and the stone. I don't know. I, I, that's probably not right. Um, but it was a movie from when I was a kid. It reminded me of that owl, but Drew's like, no, it's not that owl, so. Wrong about that. I paid $3.97 for him, and I believe I'm asking $24 for that one, because he's too cute. Um, moving right along, um, what haven't we talked about? Um, the sugar. Now, last video, no, two videos ago, I bought a teapot videos ago when I was with Drew I bought a teapot it was like a cottage teapot that one was made in China that one was made in Japan I believe this is an English one because of the weight of it um I believe it's English the other one was more it was lighter it was just not as well I don't know I might be I might be um going on a here. I believe this one is English made as opposed to the last one, which was made in Japan. Uh, this one feels like it's better quality. So this one is, it's just a sugar. It's not the teapot, the teapot that is up on my shelf right now, um, that sold and I had to ship out and just looked up there. Um, so this is a little, just a little sugar. I bought that as well. I paid, what did I pay for that? I didn't even write it down. I didn't write this. Oh, I did. <laughs> I paid $1.99 for that. And I think I'm going to, say eight dollars looks like 18 but i'm pretty sure it's 19. i'm gonna have to go check on that one um what i have that listed for um okay i think i think that was oh the oh my gosh this is northwood blue opalescent bowl the pattern is called klondike i found this at the goodwill i was so excited i had been down this aisle like 20 times and I walked past it probably 20 times and then I just happened to be talking to Andrew and looked down 
and Eric was just sitting there looking up at me. It's called Blue Opalescent because you can see it's like a clear blue glass and then on the edges it's got this opalescent. So you can see that there. It is footed. It's got three feet so it would be considered a footed dish or bowl. Um, I had paid $3.97 for this. I asked $18 and it has sold. So this has sold. I think that's the only thing out here right now that has sold. As of filming this video, I don't know, by the time this video posts, there may be more that has sold. So if it's not in my Etsy store, it is probably sold. I know a lot of you guys watch these videos and you're like, I can't find it in your Etsy store. Poss that's possibly because it's already sold, but you can filter by sold listings and see what has sold. So, um, I would suggest doing that. Um, okay, so after the Goodwill, you can see there's still more stuff out here. We decided to go hit a local antique shop. Now this is a local antique shop. The people there are so incredibly nice. It is an antique shop where they have individual booths. Now, I hardly ever, 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 ever have any luck there buying for resale because the prices are so high. And it's not one of those places like Sometimes they're on point because they know the value, but the impression I get on a lot of the booths is they are overpriced because they don't know the value of their stuff, if you know what I mean. So we went there next. Um, I got a couple things, uh, specifically <laughs> some little doggy figurines. You guys know I'm obsessed with doggies. Um, I absolutely love these. I got a couple of them. And this booth particularly was 60% off. So like this guy was a dollar, but he was 60% off. <laughs> so I think I got him for like 40, no, he was 40% off. So I got him for 60 cents. Um, this one was $4. So it was kind of weird because this guy's bigger, but there's no damage on him. So I just picked up a bunch of little doggy figurines. I love the, I love figurines. So I'm gonna list those between probably 10 and 20. I've been listing them between 10 and 20. Um, that seems to be the figurine price for now, between 10 and 20, depending on the figurine. Um, okay, uh, moving right along. I bought these boudoir lamps. Now these are reverse painted boudoir lamps. They have flowers on them that are painted on the outside, but the inside is this pale pink paint. Uh, I would love to have shades to go with them. However, I do not. And I'm, I'm going to sell them without shades. I feel like somebody could find shades for them. Like Walmart or something. Unfortunately. I would love to have the vintage shades. Let me just say that. But my time is so just taken with filming videos and editing videos that I don't have time to go on a seek and search mission for shades for these lamps, unfortunately. So I paid $18 for these. I will probably list them between $35 and $45. Matching pair of pink boudoir lamps. Okay, now, I think that covers everything but the hound dog. My Bassett friend. <laughs> now the Bassett has a very special story because while we were at the Penguin Dig a couple weeks ago, I met a lovely woman named Donna. Now, Donna is a roaster. She roasts coffee. I don't know what, a roaster? A coffee roaster? Um, I don't know what you call her. She makes coffee. And you guys know I love my coffee. I love coffee. Um, so, she sent me coffee. But all of the coffee has like little basset hounds on it. And she works with a ton of basset rescues as well. Um, so, I just like, it smells so good too. This one is um, Cad... Cad bunny cream. It's like a Cadbury bunny cream, like coffee. I haven't made that one yet. I'm really excited. For Drew doesn't like the flavored coffees, so I have to wait till he's at work and then I have to make the flavored coffees. So, anyway, she sent me like a huge box full of coffee and she sent me mugs. So, as a thank you gift for her, I bought this. <laughs> I bought this at the antique shop and I'm going to send it to her. But she also messaged me and she let me know that she runs auctions um, of Bassett's, like Bassett figurines and Bassett themed things. She does auctions to raise money for like Bassett rescues all across the United States. So from now on, when I come across Bassett themed stuff, I'm gonna be working with her because you guys know I love hound dogs. I have such a huge 
heart for hound dogs. I love, I have rescue, rescued hound dogs of my own. Um, well, actually I have one because one passed away, but I love hound dogs. So, um, yeah, that's why he is on the table. And I just wanted to talk about him and talk about her and talk about her mission with the hound dogs and the bassets. And so, yeah, um, make sure you go check out her website. I'll put a link to that down below her coffee, her coffee business. Um, but yeah, so I think that's really it. That's everything we have out on the table, I believe. I know sometimes I forget stuff and you guys are down in the comments like, you didn't talk about this. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Uh, but anyway, that is everything we have out on the table. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to go check out the shopping video that I posted yesterday. And don't forget to go check out my other channel, Relic Recoverist. Pretty soon, I'm gonna start posting metal detecting videos over on that channel, treasure hunting videos. But it's not like your typical metal detecting where you're out on the beach looking for like quarters and stuff. What I do is I go out into like historic 1700s home sites and I look for stuff that people left behind like 250 years ago, like buttons and coins. And it's just, it tells the story of the people that lived there hundreds of years ago. It's like super exciting. but. For now, there's some shopping videos over on that channel, so you should go check them out. And the train is coming, so I will catch you guys next time. Later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you've spotted something that you just can't live without, don't worry. I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description.